Am I doing this correctly? Okay. So welcome to our first flip lesson. So we're going to talk about the cove. There's going to be two sets of things that you're going to have to hand in to me. So you're going to have to hand in the cove questions and then questions about seal fishing. So these are the cove questions that you will have to submit. So number one, why do the fishermen in Taiji, why do they hunt dolphins? Number two, why is it dangerous to eat dolphins? Number three, how do we fuel the dolphin hunt in Taiji? As in, what is it that we do that encourages the dolphin hunt to continue to occur in Taiji? Number four, did you like the film? If so, why? If not, why not? Number five, if you were one of the Japanese fishermen who hunted dolphins, what would you think of the film? Do you think that they are being portrayed fairly? And then the last question, number six, do you think that the dolphin hunt in Tai Chi, do you think that it is still occurring? And just explain your opinion. So the main question there is, do you think the dolphin hunt is still occurring, right? Like, do you think that there's an actual solution to this issue? And, you know, is this issue an isolated incident? So the issue that I want to bring to your attention would be the seal hunt, right? Or the seal fishing industry within Canada. A lot of people think that, oh, you know, we're Canadians and so there is nothing like, you know, like the dolphin hunt or the shark uh, fishing that occurs in our country, right? Within Canada, we do have something called the seal fishing industry. Some people call it the seal hunt, uh, seal hunt. <laughs> oh, my pronunciation is terrible. So the seal hunt why we're talking about seal fishing is because I want you guys to realize that it's not just in Japan where these things occur, right? So animals are killed all over the world and it's really not fair to say that people of a certain country or ethnic origin is to blame, right? So the Canadian government considers seals to be fish and commercial sealing is a fishery. So what happens is live and conscious seal pups are impaled through the face or eyes with sharpened steel hooks and then dragged along the ice. Right. Seals are then beaten with spike clubs on their muzzle, face, and neck. Sometimes you get uh, struck and lost seals. These are seals that were wounded, but then they either escaped or then they sank before they were recovered. And so wounded seals likely experience pain and prolonged suffering. And about 26,000 seals die this way each year. There are some products that are derived from sealing. So 98% of the hunt is for the fur of the harp seal pups that are aged between three weeks to three months. The meat also would be exported to areas like South Korea, Japan, and Hong Kong, and then also seal oil. So seal fishing is a short-term activity. Uh, it is really hard to make a living solely on just seal fishing because it's not done all year round. So it is regulated by our government. And people who defend sealing are those who understand it as a source of income, as, you know, it, it is a fishery, right? It brings in money and it helps support our economy. And also harp seals are not classified as endangered, and so that's why it continues to occur. When you're looking at this image, do you find that it's really similar to the final scene from the cove? Have all of the images within this lesson evoke the same kind of feelings that you are getting as you're watching the dolphins being killed within the cove. And I'm sure a lot of you think and feel that seal fishing and dolphin fishing is wrong. But what I need you to think about is what you had at your last meal. Did it include chicken, beef, or pork? So it kind of makes you wonder, you know, what do you think is worse, being free and then being caught and killed, or being born and raised just to be killed, right? Because you know that chicken, pigs, and cows, you know, they're all raised on farms and eventually they lead to our plate. So it's the fishermen that are the ones that are getting their hands dirty, but we all play our part whenever we buy any of those food items or whenever we go to places like Marineland or SeaWorld we're putting our money into that industry and we're creating a demand and need for those things to occur. And even when we are consuming a lot of energy and using up a lot of our natural resources, right, all of those carbon dioxide, all of those emissions within to the atmosphere causes the greenhouse effect, 
which then leads to global warming. And global warming is affecting the harp seal breeding habitat. So harp seals, they require a really stable ice platform in late February and early March to give birth and nurse their pups. If there is no ice, then they give birth in water where the pups will die. And you know, if ice is found, it needs to remain solid within the two week nursing period. And with global warming in effect, that makes it really difficult for them. And so 6 out of 10 Canadians oppose the commercial hunting of seals off of Canada's east coast. In the Atlantic provinces, 1 in 4 say they strongly oppose the commercial seal hunt. So I want you to think about where you stand. Are you able to understand both sides of the issues? Right? What kind of feelings do images of cute animals evoke? Right? How can a picture influence your beliefs or your ability to understand both sides? Because sometimes you can be clouded, like your judgment can be clouded looking at this seal's you know, cute little black eyes and fur as white as snow. So these are the seal fishing opinion questions that I need you to answer. Uh, so did you know that this was happening? As in, did you know seal fishing was happening in Canada? How do you feel about it? And is this similar to the dolphin hunt? Why or why not? And what can we do to help? And, you know, pretty much, is there anything that we can do? So your task, just to recap, is you need to answer both sets of questions. So the code from the beginning of this lesson and the seal fishing question. So you're either going to make a video response or just a plain old school written slash type response. And you're gonna to submit to me via Twitter. So you're gonna send a link to your video um, through Twitter. So that would be DSSS underscore Miss Sai. And just make sure you make note of all the capitals and lowercase letters, or you can send it to me through the Angel Dropbox or the traditional I like killing trees method via paper and you can submit that to me in class. Well, I hope you enjoyed our lesson.